Valorant has been out for half a year now, and it's definitely caught everyone's attention, at least those on PC. There have been plenty of updates, new modes, new maps, and new agents added to the game since then, but even with these updates, there's a loud minority that are calling it quits already saying that the game was overhyped or that the game is just bad. Today's video is going to be focusing on that loud minority, explaining why a lot of people have this mentality right off the bat when it comes to playing Valorant. Actually, before I begin the video, I need to clarify that what I'm about to say isn't 100% true with everyone and that it's going to be based on my experience and what I've seen in other games. So anyways, let's get into what Valorant is. It is a 5v5 tactical shooter where players play as different agents with abilities. One team has the goal of planting a bomb onto a bomb site, while the others prevent the bomb from being detonated or defuse the bomb if it does end up being planted. If this sounds familiar, you're probably probably thinking of CSGO, which is what the game is inspired from. This game gained so much attention that it became one of Twitch's most viewed games of all time, and it still remains on the top 10 most watched games to this day, and I could see why it's gained so much attention. It's pretty, it's a first person shooter, it's got hot babes, and it's made by Riot Games who are known for making League of Legends. But looks can be deceiving. What the game fails to tell their audience is that this is a very competitive game. You need to learn the maps, the agents, the weapons, and how to counter each in order to somewhat enjoy the game. And not everyone is willing to do that these days. I don't think the Valorant is dead trend is because of the game itself, but because of today's gamers. They have a very low attention span. They want something easy to pick up with non-stop action and something that requires no strategic skills whatsoever. Basically games like Call of Duty or Among Us, and I'm not saying that they don't take skill whatsoever, but skill really isn't required to enjoy those games. And I'm also not saying that it's a bad thing, but it is what today's gamers are accustomed to. They don't care about agent balance, weapon balance, patches, map design. All they want to do is wreck havoc and feel like a god or just goof off with their friends. Valorant keeps you focused and makes you use your brain to win games. This is fine for me since I personally like being challenged and I like learning games like this, but this doesn't work well with a lot of casual gamers since they're already coming home from stressful days at school or work and just want to burn their brain out before they go to bed. And Valorant does the exact opposite, it could actually build up more stress if you're not very good at the game, at least not in a competitive setting. And I know that there are game modes like Escalation, Spike Rush, and the Snowball Fight thing where it's just purely for casual fun, but let's be real, we could get bored of that real quick and the main attraction of Valorant is the 5v5 bomb defusal mode. So what about the game itself? Is it actually dead or is it actually bad? Well, actually, based on my experience, it's not a bad game at all. Sure, there are some balancing issues, but nothing that can't be fixed. In fact, when the beta was a thing for Valorant, there were 3 million players playing. Now, this could be because of the Valorant hype and maybe it's gone lower, but I sincerely doubt it's gone below the 1 million mark since this is a free-to-play Riot game we're talking about. And the esports scene is also doing well, pulling in thousands, tens of thousands, even hundreds of thousands of viewers every time a stream comes on for one of their tournaments tournaments, and that's pretty good considering how this game hasn't even been out for a year. The bottom line here is that this game is not made for the average casual gamer. I'm not saying that the average player won't enjoy Valorant, but it's definitely far from the usual run and gun style most casual gamers are used to. And just because that's the case, it doesn't make this game a bad game or a dead game. It just means it's not for the player specifically. From the wise words of the War Owl, the biggest problem with the game is that it takes teamwork to pull anything off, but caters to a casual audience that isn't really interested in teamwork. Unless you're a Jet One Trick. That is going to be it for today's video. What are your guys' thoughts on Valorant? Do you guys enjoy it? Would you rather play other games? Let me know down in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like, subscribe for more content, and I will talk to you all later.